Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. So I've had this requested from quite a few people. I did some snakeskin 3D nails um, the other week and loads of people have been asking me to do a tutorial so I thought I'd do that for you today on a nail pop to show you how I created this. So and as you would have seen as well I got my inspiration from um, a picture that I'd seen on Instagram of a real snake. I don't know whether the photo had been edited to the colours, I'm not sure, but it was just a real inspiration um, and yeah, inspired these nails. So if you want to find out how I created these then just stay tuned. So obviously for this look you can use whatever co colour combination that you want to, um, but the colours that I used were these colours from Candy Coat. So we've got 241 and 123, so just a really light sort of Tiffany blue colour and then a sort of darker turquoise colour. Um, but like I said, you can use any colour combination that you want to. Then for the slight gradient, I'm just going to be using one of these foundation triangular sponges. Then for the detailing, I've got this Moira foil gel in black and I've got some gold foil. Um, you can obviously, again, use whatever colour combination that you wanted. Um, but the picture of the snake, I really thought that sort of the black and the gold would go well together and it was sort of in the picture the you know the snake had like a gold tongue and gold eyes and stuff like that so I thought the black and gold were a good sort of combination but again you can use whatever colours you want to and you don't even have to use foil if you don't want to. Then to create the 3D effect I've got Gelish Structure Gel which is a soak off gel um, just any kind of like builder gel I'd say but obviously if you're working with soak off products you really need a soak off gel builder as well and then for all of my um, sort of detailing the outline and also the 3D work I'm going to be using this She Sells Seashells 7mm brush which is by far my favourite at the moment then for top coat, I'm just going to be using the Candy Coat top coat. This is the normal top coat that will have a tacky layer. So now we're just going to get straight into it. So obviously doing it on a nail pop today, like I said. So we're going to start off with our lightest colour. And we're going to do two coats of this colour to begin with. So I'm now going to get my um, foundation sponge and I'm just going to apply some of the darker turquoise colour just onto one of the ends, just sort of really loading it up. So and I'm just going to sort of sponge this on to the outside edges. If you're doing this on your natural nail um, you might want to put some sort of liquid latex around or something like that or just be really careful with getting this onto your skin then I'm going to cure that in my lamp and do that exactly the same again So then once you're happy with your gradient, we're just going to top coat the entire nail and then cure that in our lamp. So then we're going to wipe off the inhibition layer of the top coat and just going to get a buffer file and just buff off the shine of that top coat and the reason we've top coat so that we're not um, buffing off sort of any of the colour but we need um, a really 
non-sticky surface um, for the sort of foil gel. So I found this is the best technique rather than just removing the inhibition layer because sometimes I find that there's still a sticky residue on there. So I'm going to get my Moira black foil gel and my detailer brush. So we want to do this in sort of sections. So we're going to start off by doing these sort of um, straight lines all the way down the nail. You can make these as big or as narrow as you want to. Just try and make sure that they're equal. like that. So then we're going to start doing the sort of um, diamond shaped ends. So basically we want to try and make these all at the same angle. As much as possible. Because then now what we're going to do is we're going to extend all of those lines to sort of do the smaller diamond shapes. Like that. So then I'm just going to do exactly the same on the other side. And the good thing about the foil gel is it doesn't move, so you don't need to flash to flash cure this. You should just be able to work with it. Like that. So now we're going to cure that in our lamp. So we're now going to get our foil and I'm just going to cut off a sort of small section of it. So and I've just got a lint free wipe with some cleanser on it just to get off um, the sort of backing of the foil. So now that nail has all been cured so literally we're just going to press the foil onto the foil gel so and just keep going over it where you need bits but if bits of black are showing it's it really doesn't matter I think it adds to the effect of it so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my top coat again and I'm just going to do one thin layer all over the nail on top of that foil to sort of seal it all in and cure in my lamp. So then now I'm going to get my gelish structure gel and my nail art brush again and we're just now going to start building on top of these sort of middle sections. So, and I'm going to do the first two, then I'm going to flash cure in my lamp for about 10 to 15 seconds. Then I'm going to carry on down the nail and do the same thing. Okay, so then now I'm going to move on to the sides. So, 
and the same sort of thing I'm just going to put the structure gel sort of in the middle and then after a couple I'm going to flash cure in my lamp on to the other side and do the same thing. And then for the final time I'm going to cure this for the full time in my lamp. So, and then the final step is just to top coat these one more time to finish off. But we're going to do it really, really thinly. Just going over the whole nail, making sure to get in between all the gaps. And I'm going to cure that in my lamp. So, and then finally, I'm just going to wipe off the inhibition layer of that top coat. And then there you have it. A 3D snake effect nail. So I hope that you like this tutorial, guys. Please like and subscribe for future videos. For all the products, I'll leave them down below for the website links. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye.